The 1956 animated 12 Days of Christmas is absolutely adorable. To be honest, for the first few seconds, I didn't think I was going to like it, as it starts off with this girl playing this little piano and her singing isn't very great. But after that, it actually becomes really beautiful. It's gorgeous to listen to. The animation quality is exactly what I love. It's the exact style that I was hoping for, given that it was in the 50s. And it also has a unique twist in it as well that I'd never seen from any other version of 12 Days of Christmas. So I won't say what that is, I won't spoil it, but certainly it took me on a very, very interesting journey. And it's absolutely gorgeous. The colours in it are so soft. There are a lot of kind of pastel pinks and creams and really soft, delicate colours. The animation itself is quite delicate. Sometimes you get what you expect. For example, there are pictures of hens, there's a picture of what I'm assuming is a calling bird, there's a picture of a cow for the maids milking, a um, very interesting way of animating the maids in particular, I have to say. But sometimes some of the animations are a little bit more a bit more unique, creative, innovative, uh, and that's definitely the, the, the feel that I get with this whole cartoon. The whole thing lasts just over five minutes. Can 12 Days of Christmas last for five minutes? Well, it definitely does take an interesting journey. I thought the editing of the animation was very effective. It's a little bit jaunty, a little bit stilted here and there, but actually it works. The fact that it's not very smooth makes some of the jagged movements a little bit more pleasing. Um, hopefully you'll know what I mean when you see it, but I like it a lot. The colours are beautiful, the style of animation is gorgeous, the singing after the first few minutes really took hold and really had a lot of fun watching it. Also the costumes of the characters, I absolutely love them. If you're a fan of the song The Twelve Days of Christmas and you want to listen to it, then you want to listen to it with the accompaniment of some gorgeous animation, definitely check out the 1956 Twelve Days of Christmas. I'm pretty confident you'll absolutely adore it.